Nuri Shaheen with what might be the winner. It's hard to talk about it, it's hard to find uh, the right word. What's up, my boys, and welcome to the 89 flashback Nuri Sahin episodia, the beast from Wolfsburg, I'm trying to come up with a fun name for Nuri Sahin. I don't think he has any nicknames, uh, but I do want to say, uh, it being the first day of Ramadan, I believe uh, a very happy Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim followers. Uh, uh, Nuri Sahin is a uh, is a Muslim, uh, devout Muslim as well. Um, so I did want to say uh, Eid Mubarak to all my uh, Muslim followers out there. Hopefully you guys have a, a happy Eid, I believe is how you say it. If not... <laughs> Hey, look, you're just gonna freaking roast me. But today it is all about 89 Nuri Sahin. Twitter is seemingly divided about this card. Yes, we have team of the season coming tomorrow. Sure, certainly gonna be some very, very expensive players that you're gonna wanna save all your precious, precious coins for. Uh, but today, you know, given that he is a Bundesliga player, given that he's coming in at a relatively cheapish price at around 125, 130,000 coins, he becomes the highest rated in terms of total in game stat midfielder in the Bundesliga period. The only midfielder in the Bundesliga for that matter that has two th above 2,500 total in-game stats take that for what it is worth and he becomes one of the highest in FIFA for that matter that doesn't necessarily mean anything because you know you need the stats in all the key categories we're gonna find out today if you might be might just be worth 125 130 thousand coins as well as have a little bit of a team of the season discussion um a little bit of a team of the season discussion but like I always say boys if you guys find these episodes as helpful or entertaining in some way drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so we're going to dive right into it. 5'11", medium, medium is probably one of the things that people are roasting him the most about. The fact that he does have medium, medium work rates. Uh, Left-footed, three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. So he's got the four-star weak foot, which is uh, which is a bonus for sure. Um, obviously, Bundesliga Turkish nationality gets that nice little link into Kabak. You guys would probably already guess that I'm using him in this squad. And also gets some very nice uh, some very nice Werder Bremen links as well, including that Rashica and then also Eggstein. Um, and then that Josh Sargent. Kind of regret not taking him. I took Thornsby on this account, the main. And then I took Maeda on the other one. I feel like I'm kind of, uh, feel like I need to be charged for treason for not taking Josh Sargent, given that he's Bundesliga and American. But let's get into the stats here. So we start off very positively. 84 acceleration and then 72 sprint speed, which is a little bit meh. Um... Joshua Kimmich, for that matter, has very similar stats to this, and I don't find that his pace is an issue at all. He's 75 and I believe 86, respectively, uh, for those two stats. And I have a, I believe, a Hunter Kemp style on him, and I use him in the attacking role. Uh, and he feels plenty rapid, has some really, really good dribbling stats as well. But um, Nuri Sain goes up to, what is that, 95, 99 acceleration, I'm pretty sure? 99 acceleration with the uh, with the shadow chem style and goes up to 82 sprint speed more than fine attacking positioning 80 that's the thing with this card if you want him in an attacking role you're gonna have to use something maybe i'm thinking maybe a hawkeye but then i don't really want to touch the physical stats because they're already so good already shooting stats 80 attacking positioning 73 finishing a whopping 99 shot power with 91 long shots 96 uh, volleys pens basically doesn't even have them uh and then we get to the passing stats nothing lower than 91 and one of my favorite passing stats you guys will know is that 95 curb so a very very nice rating there it's the passing stats and then also the dribbling stats combined the 93 ball control the 87 dribbling with the 84 agility and then just the really really solid dribbling stats on this card really sets itself apart um and i think might make this card very very special and then 84 agility really really like the 84 agility on a card uh that has 94 strength and 88 aggression so Couple of weaknesses, obviously the sprint speed and then the 80 stamina. Um, those are two very, very important stats in uh, in FIFA 20. I'm down to my last coinage, 16,000 coins, uh, after having bought uh, Kabak and then also Rashica and then Eggstein. Uh, we're gonna get into a couple matches here again. See how he plays as an RCM. Um, gonna try him out all over the pitch. We're gonna see if that stamina with the medium medium work rates is as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. We're gonna see if that 72 pace really feels like it's been jacked off to 82. Match number one, los geht's. <laughs> Another fun little fact, boys. Uh, he goes to the Harvard School of Business. Uh, speaks five languages. German, Turkish, English, Dutch, and Spanish. What an absolute freaking lad. Just doesn't have great dribbling, does he? There's Sahin. Go on, lad. There's Sahin. See that passing? Essie Finesse? Oh, no, he didn't. 
I know Fuji really likes Rashitsa. It's not the guy that you wanted to pack in your uh, in your foot birthday bag or whatever the hell that was, but um, Mad Card. Speaking of Mad Card, I was about to say Jonathan Matias Cunha picking up where he's left off the past three days. Let's check out some of that curve. Look at the strength. Good ball control. Again, I want to I test out that curve there. Good passing. On. I forgot to mention the start of the epi, but I think it's a it's something like a 500 total in-game stat upgrade. Obviously, it's pretty massive. He goes from a 78 rated all the way up to 89, so that's to be expected. Um, I have him on stay forward. You saw that little turn there? I don't know what I don't even I don't even Yeah, he's already at uh, what is that about 70% he's already bleeding a bit boys Nice Here we go Sahin these nuts got him got him I'm sorry but how was that a goal dude these nuts oh my god Milo Rashica and then of course is that Cunha that's gotta be Cunha I'm pretty sure it is Mateus Cunha is there for the cleanup in Isle Fish. What an absolute hero. I mean, unlucky positioning from him, but to be fair, he de I don't feel like he deserved that. Uh, he didn't deserve that goal. Sahin. Yeah, I gotta get this card. I know that was a miss, but I absolutely have to get this card. He's filthy. Look at the strength on the lad. He's broken. <gasps> the card is just broken. All right, we're gonna. Well, no, Nori signed his 46 pens. Never mind. Kuni's got 77. All right, you know what? All right, yeah, let's give it to Rashidza. Wait, what? It's time for what to do now and how. If the ref calls this on me, nah, 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 this game's rigged. This one's. Oh my god! It's time for what I don't know to if do I can now play another game. I don't know if I can play another game of FIFA after this, dude. Hey, can confirm he does have 99 shot power. There you go, boys. The 99 shot power. Nuri Sahi just absolutely rocket, la rocket launches one in the back of the net. Now that team of the season is here, I'm saying you're probably going to want to you, you're going to want to get this card to um about as as an elite of a level as it can get, and I think you're probably going to achieve that with the Shadow or the uh, Shadow of the Hunter. Look at, that. Look at the strength. He's got a really, really nice bit of strength on him. You shit! Yes, Chef, I am. You are so shit. It's unbelievable. Just the most trash goals. That's. I think we're a, we're up to a total of three absolutely just trash, trash goals conceded. Matias, probably one of the only times he's ever let us down. Let's go, S-Fine. 
coins will be better served, like, saved up, waiting for some, like, really, really crazy players that might cost 250, 300,000 coins. And I think you're gonna want your, you're gonna want to get your coins to work for you, uh, instead of sinking into a Nuri Sahin, uh, Nuri Sahin SPC. However, having said that, he's a pretty mad, he's a mad, I mean, having said that, he's a mad card. That's what I'm talking about. That's my boy Kimmich. That's Captain Kimmich right there, and he's out. Is he out of here? Got he. <laughs> See ya. That's the 99 shot power. <laughs> that is the 99 shot power of Nuri freaking Sahin. Bruh. All right, so two games uh, so far. Well, this is the third game. Uh, loss in match number one, which I think was probably one of the more undeserving losses I've taken. Uh, match number two scores an absolute banger, and then match number three shows off a little bit, a little bit of that agility, and shows off a little bit of that capability of being um, an attacking-minded, uh, an attacking-minded guy in the vein of Joshua Kimmich. Now, the main difference is Joshua Kimmich, 98, uh, 98 stamina. There's Nuri Sahin, 80. So, I feel like you're probably gonna want him. I mean, you want to utilize some of that shot power, right? But I think, I feel like maybe he'd be better served as like a staying back deep kind of guy. Just the movement, it, it's, God, it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad! There's just some days where you just can't. Something's happening. Can you just please drive? Did you see something? There's only so much I can take. Dude, uh, Nuri uh, Sahin's halfway to a wheelchair with that freaking stamina, dude. I think it has to be on stay back while attacking in order for this to work, but I'm, 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 I'm rage quitting. I'm backing out of the game. I can't do it. Primex player's pack's not bad. So, um, in terms of value, boys, it's hard for me to deny. Um, you know, with team of the season around the corner, you're going to want to keep those. You, you're going to want to save those, uh, those valuable, val valuable coins for whatever team of the season SBCs, or maybe you're grinding towards a player. Um, 100, 120, 130,000 coins. I don't know if that's going to make the difference between a purchasable player, but definitely maybe getting an SBC or two done, um, could help you get some of those done, uh, especially buying some fodder hundred percent. So I'm going to say three and a half out of five. Well, I think it's good value. 130,000, 130,000 coins for the best total in game stat upgrade. Uh, the best, the most total in, in game stat midfielder in the Bundesliga you still have to wrestle with the 80 stamina which I'm not very very confident in as you can see uh didn't really feel him chugging uh in any games but he was at yellow already by the 60 uh by the 67th minute so I am going to give it a three and a half three and a half out of five just because team of the season is around the quarter and my my my, my recommendation would be to hold your coins hold your fodder into and be able to put that into maybe um an 85 rated SBC for one of these uh team of the season SBCs or whatnot in terms of on the pitch performance I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five as well I just can't ignore the 80 stamina at least in this stage in the game maybe have him on stay back while attacking with those medium medium work rates and and, and see if uh uh see how much of an, I an issue it is there a very very solid card and i'm lukewarm on whether to do it or not just because again team of the season is dropping tomorrow and there's going to be some absolutely fire fire cards available for purchase hopefully not too expensive as well and then also some spc spc should be coming along the way that's going to do it for the episode of you boys uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed hopefully this is giving you some indication of what it might be like to get this nori sahin card um, again, a very, very cool card, and I would say affordable, uh, good value, but I just wouldn't say great value, and, and can't really recommend, uh, recommend it 100% with Team of the Season coming out, uh, just tomorrow. But, that is gonna do it for the episode, you boys. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.